Um, yeah. It's walk awkward again, huh? Well, that doesn't matter. It's kind of loud when I think about it also. But you know, today I'll do something I don't do... Like, I, I think I used it once when I got my camera. And that is, I will use... Give me a second, I need to... Full screen camera. And you need... You know why I did that? Yes. Well, that was a great guess. Uh, because I have a new background. Woo! I have new posters. And also a shelf. There will be more things on the shelf, but... I thought I would make it easier for myself. And not put all the screws in. And, you know, it's kind of tilted now. Uh, and I'm scared because my bed is right under it. And I think it might fall. So I decided to put the heavy stuff down. But, you know, in the future, it should work. Well, that's it for my background. It looks really good, I know. And now let's play some Hollow Knight. Wait, this is... This is not Hollow Knight. Woo! Wait, no. Uh, woo! Okay. So, haven't played for a while. Uh, last stream was last Thursday, if I remember correctly, which I do. Um, but yeah, I had a great time, you know. I was at Dokomi, which is anime convention, that's where I got all the posters. Oh shit, okay, well I don't need to go up here, I need to go further this way. And yeah, it was my, well I keep saying it's my first convention, I was at convention in the past, but those were far from this scale. I feel like just artist alley in this one was bigger than Craftcon, which was the only other convention I visited. Um, now I will have to balance between talking because I feel like I have a bunch of things to talk about and actually concentrating on the game. A corpse in a white armor. What will happen? I want. Oh. Well, okay, I thought I will fight it. Oh, uh, well, yeah, so that was fun. Uh, I had a bunch of things I wanted to talk about, but I did not make notes, because I'm smart. What is this? Uh, well, yeah. So, I was in Germany, in, in Dusseldorf, I think that's how you pronounce that, maybe? Tall machine, yes, please. And, you know, I was there with one friend. I mean, I was there with uh, two friends and my mom, but only me and my friend were on the convention. So. Ah, what station is this, hidden all the way at the bottom of the world? Until I heard the bell calling, I didn't even know the stagways traveled so deep. You have discovered something quite astounding, little one. No matter how old I grow, the world still keeps surprising like this. Out the way. Uh, that looks like the end of this way. Oh, uh, okay. uh, I let me go to Green 
with that. I think there's a way where I can go now. I don't remember much. Uh, well, I don't know. Uh, I have a lot of thoughts, but I don't know what to talk about. Okay, maybe not green path. Maybe it was forgotten crossroads. Uh, well, it was fun. I don't remember what I was doing actually. Okay, let me find a way where I can go. Uh, maybe to the Halloween Cliffs. Maybe I can get there. Uh, also, this thing at the Mantis Village. Yeah, I need to get there actually. Yeah, yeah. So let's go there from the Queen's Station. Okay, I should have probably made my thoughts more like collective. But yeah, so it was anime convention in Germany. Uh, I can speak German or Deutsch or whatever the language is. Um, so that was fun. Uh, I mean. Okay, I really can't concentrate, huh? Oh, uh, it was pretty easy to speak in, you know, English. I'd say my English is pretty good. Uh, unfortunately, the program was basically only in German. Uh, like, I mean, on the live stages and stuff. But I still watched like uh, two concerts. I was there for uh, Iris and Kiara concert, so that was pretty epic. Uh, I was also there for uh, cosplays from League of Legends. I don't know how characters in League of Legends look like. I know just like the ones that were in Arcane. <laughs> Um, but it was, you know, there were some really good cosplays, and not even just on the, like, um, what is it called? What, what is it? Well, not even on, on, just on the live stage, there were really great cosplays just everywhere, walking around randomly. Uh, which I mean, I knew there will be some cosplays, but I didn't expect so much people to wear a cosplay. It was like every second person had a cosplay. So that was kind of interesting. And Uh, I have some photos, but not much. I'm not really much into photographing stuff, I guess. Uh, what else? Oh, uh, I was on. Oh well, okay. There were multiple areas. There was like the entrance. Oh wait, wrong button. There was, oh, uh, like the live stage. There was AMBA where it was cool. There was was black stage. Uh, there was a uh, uh, gaming area. There was the area with like shops and stuff. Uh, artist alley. That's where I got all the posters from, uh, and also some other stuff. I can double jump, I forgot. I forgot 
Anchor uh... Fucking hell uh, There was like the food step, food area uh, That was really expensive food <laughs> I mean I expected that uh, I what did I have for food? Okay, first day we got pizza and second day a bento box. So that was nice. Both really good. Um, I also... Well, okay. The first day, I'm still, you know, unable to express my thoughts. First day, basically we got there around 9 a.m. Uh, the like everything opens at 10 a.m. But you can like be there because then the line I heard and also saw some photos the line was really long So I'm really happy that I decided to come early uh, Because otherwise I would miss one of the things I was looking for the most which was the Kiara concert uh, and that started in 11 and I heard some people who came just when it was actually opening and they 10 a.m. didn't make it in time uh, Was I here already? Uh, but yeah, the first day we mostly just like explored At least I did Oh, okay get there from the other side. Exploring just like in Hollow Knight. Huh? And uh, I didn't really make any purchases until later because I didn't want to like carry all the stuff with me the whole day. Oh, uh, so I think there was only two things I bought the first day. Well, basically uh, five of them but those were all the uh, posters from Souls games and huh. uh, and then this keychain I have right here wow very nice don't have it on my keys yet but you know I'm also currently not leaving my house so I don't need any my keys oh um, and then that's not really what I bought but I got the uh, card signed by Takana Shikiara because I um, whoa okay I accidentally found the secret because I signed to the meet and greet but unfortunately did not get there but I still got the you know sign thing so that's pretty cool do I still have a like a mage build spell build don't really remember Me look charms, charms, charms. Okay, soul ether, shaman stone. Yeah, I do have a mage build. Okay, I'm so good at finding secrets. Um, so yeah, like the first day we really like basically only explored we went through all the different like stages and stuff uh look at all the like um stands or booths or whatever uh got some food uh look at some you know cosplays we also actually wanted to do the other cosplay like like contest is it contest 
uh, with uh, you know the one where I was it was with Lee characters I don't really know Lee you know so uh, but my friend who was uh, there with me was like explaining me lore the whole time so that was fun uh, there was one like I think it was the second cosplay that won oh uh, well the second but like just the the cosplay that won the second place I think was like pretty cool one uh, I don't know what it was obviously but I know he had smoke effects on it on it so that was pretty cool uh, also had like this big sword but it was actually most of the cosplays there so <laughs> Uh, not really telling. It was like this green dude and had a smoke effect. That's all I remember. Um, but you know, also, like, all the speaking was in uh, German. And I can speak that. I think I hear some. Yeah. Nice. Um. Uh, and there also was the second contest with cosplay that day uh, That was with Genshin cosplays and I mean, I don't really play Genshin anymore, but I know that game and I still kind of uh, Follow the game even though I don't play it uh, So I knew all the characters even the new ones I didn't ever like see in the game So sir, like there was a lot of Genshin cosplay um, uh, but we didn't get to the contest because it got, was full. That was the only time I saw the live stage got full. Uh, and we were also really close. There was a line for the live stage, and we were like tent in line um, when it closed. So it was sad. But you know. I saw a lot of great Genshin cosplays even without being there. Um, then, well, I'm not really saying it in a um, well how it was in you know order. Just saying random things I remember from the first day. But yeah, how I said, we were basically just going around, uh, buying, uh, not buying, just looking at stuff basically. Uh, then, yeah, later in the day, I bought the posters and. It feels. You know, when I talk about it, I actually didn't do much, you know, it just felt like a lot. Um, but yeah, I just, I guess it wasn't a lot. Uh, and then second day, you know, it started again with me going to a concert. Oh, actually, I have a fun story from the... Well, fun. Uh, from the first concert, from Kiara concert. Um, and that is... Oh wait, I'm back in here. Okay, so we got there. Uh, a bit you know before it started like 20 minutes or something I got there with my friend who did not know who Kiara is I mean uh, he kind of knew because he looked at her before uh, we got there just because I told him that I would want to go to the concert but did not really know her uh, and Uh, 
I'm sorry. I'm just losing myself both in the game and in my thoughts. Um, and I will stop doing mm, quite a bit. But yeah, uh, we came there, we set kinda like pretty far in the back. Uh, but then like just before it started, I decided, hey, I want to actually go closer. There is still, you know, three spaces, places. Uh, so I decided to go closer. My friend didn't really want to, so he stayed there. And, you know, I went pretty close to, like, stage, but it was on a left, right side. Well, it depends on your, you know, perspective. And uh, all I, I basically in the part where I said there wasn't uh, that much of like really hype people, uh, which led to me feeling kind of like awkward trying to like cheer, you know. I actually wasn't really. That was like my first concert. Uh, I mean, I was on some music festivals before, but not really like a concert for like specific person I wanted to see. Oh shit. And... So I didn't really know how stuff works, you know. Oh, there's something I could get before, but I didn't go to. So that's, you know, I was kind of just there, uh, swinging a bit with my towel, because that's what Kiara said we were supposed to do. Uh, I also didn't find any glow sticks or fan lights or whatever. Uh, but yeah, so I was kind of quiet, not really cheering, very sad. But you know, it was a great time. But this kind of leads me to what happened the day after on Iris' concert. Uh, my friend didn't go there because he wasn't really interested. Uh, and I decided, you know, to go sit in the middle well, with uh, where all the hype people were, at least the day before. Oh shit. I did it again. Uh, and I also took all, all my courage. Oh, nice. Mark of Pride. Just give me a second, I heard this one is good. I don't even remember how it looked. Okay. Greatly increases the range of the better snail, allowing them to strike foes from farther away. I get that. Okay, I guess it's just better long nail. Interesting. Uh, oh, and the bench, so that's nice. Well, okay. Uh, so, I took all my courage and asked a person who sat next to me where he got the pen lights because I thought you could like buy them there on the convention uh, but no he got them from home so that was really sad for me because I didn't have any uh, but yeah uh, it that day I was definitely cheering a bit more just because I had some cool people around me Okay, now when I'm started actually saying thoughts that, you know, are kind of collected. Oh, hello. Uh, I... Uh, remember. 
a bit more. Uh, okay, fun story from when I actually bought the posters. Oh, look. How do I get there? Uh, when I bought the Dark Souls or, well, also Sekiro posters. Uh, actually, the Sekiro one was the one who that what to say caught my attention because I really loved Sekiro. I haven't still finished Dark Souls actually. Uh, but so yeah, the Sekiro one was the one that got my attention. And so yeah, because you know. Uh, stuff was in German. I uh, didn't really know the cost, uh, so I asked the. Oh, actually, I think I knew the cost because you know it's just a number. So uh, that was fifteen euros, but so yeah, I uh, spoke with the person and he told me, oh, it's uh, uh, two plus one free, or you know, when you buy two, you get one free. Uh, and I was like, oh, okay, cool, I'll, I'll choose a few more then. So I chose three of them. Uh, and then the person, uh, when I told them, like, the, these three, he was like, oh, actually, if you want the fourth one, you can know I can give it to you for just 10 euros. And I was like, okay, okay, I'll buy one more. One more is fine. Uh, so yeah, I bought four of them. Actually, it would be pretty nice if I got fifth, but I did not really have a far plan at that point. But you know, now I have uh, five posters like anime style and uh, four souls like, so it would look pretty cool if I had five and five. Which leads me kind of to other stuff. I don't really have, okay. Uh, okay, another poster, very fun related story. When I was buying, it's not really fun, I felt really bad and awkward, you know. Uh, I was always, you know, buying stuff, you know, speaking with people to buy stuff, especially if I don't know, like, everything, because it's not in my language. Uh, was difficult, you know. Uh, I was always, I always had to get all my courage to actually speak with the people, person, to buy something. So, uh, I was at this other, like, uh, shop at the uh, artist alley where the three posters in the middle uh, where I got those three posters they are in the middle and I actually know uh, you know how to buy these ones it was actually pretty easy because they put uh, numbers to each of the pictures so I just had to say the numbers not really like point at them and then be like, no, not the one next to it, but I still messed up. Uh, but I'll get to that. So I, at first, I just really liked the RAM poster because I love RAM and I was like, yeah, okay, I want that one. And also uh, my friend bought the exactly same one, just uh, not A3, but A4, a bit smaller. smaller. And I was like, yeah, actually, yeah, I want that one too. Uh, so I was looking and I saw there is also like, if you get free, it's a bit cheaper. So I was like, okay, I will get free again. So uh, I started looking and to be honest, they were all really great. Uh, like I really like the art style and stuff, but uh, I didn't know the characters from like except Ram and then I saw Lumin from Genshin Impact uh, so I decided for those two but I was looking and I couldn't uh, choose the third one because I just you know 
they all looked great, you know, but I didn't know the characters and I didn't really want to like buy a character I didn't know. Uh, but, but then uh, it took a while, but you couldn't really see the ones that were uh, lower because, you know, uh, there was there were always a lot of people around and uh, there was also some like other stuff not posters in a way like each, there were some teachings I think and uh, like other just other things you know uh, but then I uh, noticed that the last one the picture number 32 that I couldn't see at all was Saki from Zombieland Saga so I was like okay I need to get that and I did uh, I don't really need to go back to the deep mess I just wanted to this one thing uh, actually there is a way below the failed tramway basically so I think I'll try to go there I don't like this area that much. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, kind of... Oh yeah, and that's not it. Because uh, I remember still something there. Uh, I still remember the numbers. It was four that was uh, Lumin. Then 5, that was Ram, and 32 was Saki. And I remember this because of very traumatizing thing that happened. So how I said, I always had to get all my courage to actually speak with some people. And my friend there was really putting pressure on me, saying how dumb I am. That, well, okay, he wasn't saying it like that. I was just like, okay, okay, so I'm buying it or not? Like, are we, are we just, you know, standing here? Uh, and I was like, you know, calm down. <laughs> I need, I need time. Uh, but so yeah, I got there. Uh, I was like, okay, I want to buy this one, this one. Uh, and instead of I want to buy 4-2 what, what did I just say? Instead of saying I want to buy Fucking hell I don't want to buy fucking hell uh, Instead of I want to buy uh, 4 and 5 I said 3 and 4 And 32 And then I Oh, I think it wasn't here before, so that's interesting. Oh, and then I saw them picking up the pictures. Uh, I looked at the numbers again and I was, oh shit. I bought the wrong one. Now I need to talk with them again and say I need a different one. Uh, but yeah, it was no problem. They were all really nice. Everyone I spoke there with was really based, you know. Um, so, I, I got the ones I actually wanted. Um, and then, well, I don't really have a fun or any story with the two uh, other ones. Where am I going to them? Oh, I see. What else did I buy? Well, I got the t-shirt. Uh, the picture is on my, uh, you know, Twitter. I'm actually not completely sure if it's safe to wear on a screen. I have no idea. Oh, I didn't want to get here. The wrong place. Oh, 
but it's like it's pretty like well known. I'd say it's like the uh, Ahigao T-shirt. If you know how I said, you can look at the picture on my Twitter if you want. Um, I basically got that only because my fr friend got it. And then the next day I was like, I'm gonna wear that. This is like the only place where I can wear this in public, right? Uh, and you know, I was trying to force him to wear it too, but he decided not to. So that was sad. I felt really lonely. And I mean, the second day I basically had a hoodie on the whole time because it was raining and it was kinda cold. Except like, early in the morning. I'm getting lost again, and I can't go back up here. Fucking bird. Something here? There's something above me here, though. I don't know if I was there. Yeah, I probably was. And. Oh, shit. Uh, he actually bought this one for me because yeah, how I said he was buying it two times. Uh, I mean, he was buying it two. Oh, no, that was just my imagination. There wasn't anything there. He was buying it two times. Uh, so he was fuck. He was buying it for himself too. Himself too. So he just uh, got the one for me also. I mean, I paid him for it, which is, you know. But he actually paid a pizza the day, first day for me, and also a drink, if I remember correctly. Is this something? No. Then uh, the another thing I got was like this mystery box. It was a uh, box in uh, that merch in dice, you know, like merch in dice, but it was called merch in dice. Oh shit. Nice, okay. And it was like a mastery box, mystery box. Uh, so there was, I mean, I know how this works. They tell you it's 50 euros worth of, of stuff, but it's only 30 euros. It's, it's this cheap because it's stuff nobody would ever buy. <laughs> okay, you know, most of the time it's something they really just like couldn't sell that well, otherwise it wouldn't really be worth it for them. Uh, and there was also like this thing that you could throw a dice uh, three times, uh, three dices, you could throw three dices three times, and if you threw three sixes, uh, you would get it for free. Uh, but you know, me, neither my friend did this. And then when we opened it, we actually found out we got basically the same stuff. Again, you know, the picture is on Twitter, but I had a cap, a bottle, a cup or mug. And, um, and uh, like a small plushie. Uh, and <laughs> my friend got the exactly same things. Just he got the oh hello, there is a trap here. Oh shit! Okay, it was a safe one. Uh, he got the exactly same thing except a different flashy. Uh. So yeah, I kind of think maybe there was more of them uh, with the same stuff. Uh, we 
which you know I'm happy that I didn't decide to buy more of them because uh, I was thinking about actually buying multiple of them and that leads me to another thing that happened to me so you know I live in Czech Republic we are part of the EU but we have our own currency so I decided to exchange 5000 Czech crowns into euros which is uh, like 200 euros and because I guess I don't really spend that much money normally I was like oh this is uh, infinite amount of money I just have infinite money here I don't need to like worry about you know spending it so that's how I operated the first day but how I said I didn't really buy anything the first day I would just you know not count my money at all I would just come somewhere and be like okay I want to buy this and to give them money you know I had infinite amount but second day at one point I uh, was buying like probably some of the posters uh, I looked at my wallet and I was like oh Oh, I don't actually have that much money anymore. That's bad. Oh, this is finally the place where I needed to get. And because, how I said, the first day we were only basically looking at what to buy later, I was like going back to those places and counted again. Like, okay, this is 30 euros, this is 30 euros, this is 20, this is just, uh, you know, 5, or what, just 2. So I was like, okay, I don't have that many. So I needed to, you know, actually think about it a bit more uh, after that. This is probably boss, so let's concentrate. Wait, I probably should have listened to him first. But I have a mage bird. Shit. Oh, come on. Okay. Where is he? To heal. Come on, I did heal well. Oh, that was so close. I'm God Gamer. Okay, I didn't speak with this guy before, so, uh, oops. Unbelievable, I am defeated at last, so this is what it feels like to be bested. Still, though, I'm strong, am I not? When you see our king, surely you'll tell him of my valor. Yes, he sent you here to test me, didn't he? I knew he had not forgotten to pray Galleon. I'm ready to join you now, brothers. You and I, let us leave this place together. I just remembered something and that is I made myself a coffee, it's probably cold now. I made it like half an hour before the stream. It's cold. Oh, okay, let's see this place is again. The body of a fallen warrior. And what... Oh, where did I end? Yes, saying I did not have money. Okay, the sad part actually is 
I still did have money, I just had it in Czech crowns, and you couldn't use that there. And you know, in artist study you at least, I did not actually pry everywhere, I didn't ask, but I, you couldn't pay with uh, oh, card most of the time. So that was sad. And oh yeah, I kind of had to plan a bit more about things I wanted to buy after that. But it, it worked out. Um, I mean, there are still more things I wanted to buy that I don't have, but it's fine. I think I have enough money. Uh, I mean, I, I think I have enough stuff. Um, also, the first day we got there, you know, uh, my mom drove us by car. Thank you, by the way. Thanks, mom. I mean, she's not watching, but I, I told her thank you uh, in person. And, you know, on the way there, she just dropped us right next to the convention. Uh, and then went to like a, to a parking lot and then there is a bus that goes straight like from just the center to the parking lot but we are like ah it can't be that far right uh and we went you know uh we walked and we walked and okay it wasn't that far uh, it was like walkable distance, it was like more than I normally walk, but it was fine to walk there. The problem was that we got to a wrong parking uh, lot, you know, <laughs> we, uh, were su we were parking at the uh, parking too. And we walked to the parking one. So after that, we we talked with like three different people to ask for directions. Uh, one of them, uh, one of them, oh, were like a couple, and they kind of gave us wrong directions. I mean, uh, they probably didn't know. You know, I doubt they did it on purpose. But they gave us wrong directions. Uh, and then uh, we spoke with some other person who was going from the convention. And she gave us like better directions, but uh, we, it really wasn't really enough for us to. Well, he told us that uh, uh, we were at the wrong parking lot because we couldn't really tell there was uh, different letters because it was parking A, but there was like a lane B, lane C, and stuff like that. And we didn't know what that means because it wasn't like language we could speak. So we just we asked this guy, and he told us, "Oh, you're on the wrong parking lot." And we asked him if we can walk to the other one, and he said, "Uh, it's possible, but it's like the same distance as the one we just got to from the convention center." So. It would be very far and he told us that we should probably especially because we are already lost we should probably will go by the bus and then we got on the wrong bus so uh, that was fun not really
Okay, let me check the map again. Okay, I can probably try to go down here, but I think one of the places were uh, stopped by the black wall. I don't, I don't remember. Oh, nice. Was I here already? Cost of it's to be yeah, I was. So yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> huh? Okay, so this is closed. I can go through. And there is a way below me. I actually remember being here, but I don't know how to get there. Is it like a trick maybe? <laughs> I like no. This for her else it doesn't do anything happen. Um Wait what? What do I do here? Uh I remember that I was here or before but I don't know how to proceed. Maybe it's like a way you can get only through the, you know, from the other side, it's possible, right? Not only possible, but probably also what happened. Oh, what is that thing uh, here? Yeah, okay. Uh, looks like, looks like my uh, deep nest is explored. And there is, uh, okay, I actually want to put a blue marker because blue is the one I used to mark the black walls. Oh, something like that. And can I uh, remove a marker, yeah, because I already explored this. Um, this is uh, the Fog Canyon where I can't find the map yet. At least I don't think I can. This probably also is the Fog Canyon, so it's not like I didn't explore it, probably. I can go speak with the this person, I think, yeah. So yeah, that's what I'll do now. Let me try to go by tram if there is a closer fast travel. Okay, but you know, in the end we, we found a place we, after that, oh, we actually didn't ride the wrong bus, we just got there. And the bus driver first started saying something in German, but then you know he, uh, we told him that he, he don't really understand, and he was like, "Oh, this, this is last stop. We can get on the bus here." And he was like, "Oh, okay." Uh, and then we, we you know, uh, get to the right bus and got to the parking lot where we were supposed to be and everything was fine that was the first day uh, second day uh, my mom just got us again next to the station uh, just next to the center to the convention uh, What else? And then we, you know, were on. I'm trying to remember. 
What did we eat first today? I know that for breakfast, oh, we were at McDonald's. Uh, then we had the pizza under convention, but I don't really remember what was the dinner. It wasn't anything special, I think. Oh yeah, we just went to Lidl, which is like a convenience store. No, it's not a convenience store, it's just a store, I guess. Uh, this correct place, yeah. And we bought like some, uh, some, some food, yeah. <laughs> Uh, we got instant noodles, uh, and you know, made them with some, because we had, uh, you know, the boiling thing at our room, <laughs> uh, in a hotel, and, uh, second day, we, uh, for the breakfast, we had just the thing again uh, from the like needle, just the stuff we bought the day before. Oh, uh, then we had the bento box that was really nice, and it was like kind of Japanese, right? Uh, I mean, there was food that wasn't really, really like just Japanese, but you know, it was. So bento boxes are in Japan, right? <laughs> so that's cool. Uh, I wanted to go to the wrestling club. There was like uh, shrimp and some sauce, rice, um, and some other stuff. I don't really remember anymore. There was like this some some yellow thing with curry. It's like a vegetable, I think. But I just don't think really know what. Uh, and then for in the evening, I just want to finish this before I talk to this person. We had a ramen, and you know I basically had ramen in the past, but if you buy it here, in you know uh, where I live. It's it's basically just a noodle soup. It's just a soup with noodles and maybe like a meat. Uh, but there was it was like completely different. It was I was scared I wouldn't be able to eat a soup with chopsticks, but I was <laughs> because it's just so easy. Uh, like the noodles are thick and you know the broth. You, you obviously can't eat the broth with chopsticks but you just drink that and you know the meat was really soft you could just pick out pieces of the meat without cutting it with the chopsticks so it was really nice uh, so yeah okay let's talk to this person ah wielder you have returned let me have a look at the dream nail ah 500 essence you have master you are a master in the making well done well done have small reward for you but from my most precious memories this charm will bring to you up and your and the dream nail closer together still the secrets of this kingdom won't be able to hide from you any longer take it and return once you have collected 700 essence more gifts awaits you i actually do have that much but let me look at this thing Uh, I was the bird to charge dream nail faster and collect more souls when striking foes. Okay. So you already have 700 essence. I wonder whether the dreamers are watching you as you work, or even that old king. The lock of, of theirs is desperate, but very clever. I wonder how long they thought it would it could hold. I hope no disdain for them though as history goes and I grow numb it is to its repetition 
take your gift and continue collecting essence. Once you have 900, I have that. Come back to visit me. Oh, what is that? Oh, nice. Okay. The green nail now holds 900 essence within its core. Are you surprised that this old kingdom has so many hidden dreams? Yes, you are starting to see them. The connections between us and the dreams we leave behind. Like prints in the dust. The time has come for you to learn how to revisit the places connected to you. Hold the dream nail pike wielder and imagine a great gate opens opening before you. Okay. Ooh, let's go. Dream gate. Wait, is that like a fast travel that I can choose? Oh, is it? Well, okay, let me try. Okay, that's pretty cool. Our wilder has returned. Uh, let me have a look at the dream nail. Ah, the dream nail is glowing so brightly. Keep it up. Return to me once you have collected uh, 100, uh, 1200 essence. Yeah, sure. This, okay, yeah, yeah. This is really cool. Can I have... I probably can have only one, right? That's really nice, though. Oh, wait. There's something new there on the map. Right behind me. Now. What? Maybe that. That's the location of the room where I have the. Dream thing? Nah, that's, that's probably not it. I don't even have it in this room, actually. Huh. I'm basically right on it. Interesting, I don't know what that is. Uh, okay, let me go somewhere else then. Where can I go exploring? There's still the Colosseum, but I think I want to find more stuff. Uh, I'm not too stubborn anymore. I won't try to fight there for no infinite amount of time. Maybe I can get here, I don't remember what that was in the uh, green path. This one, this one definitely leads to the Fog Canyon, I don't remember what this one is. So let me try getting there. Uh, I can also go to the Pink Pass, King's Pass. Let's actually, let's actually do that first. Let's go to the King's Pass. Okay, and all, other thing I bought. I wanted to buy at least one figure. And you know, I love Ren. So obviously I bought Ren figure. So after choosing between like the tens of Ren figures uh, there were, that were there. I chose, one. well, the one you can see there, the yellow one, the other one I had before. But, I was scared uh, talking to the person, because it was kind of difficult, you know. Because if you said, I want the ram figure, there's like 30 of those. <laughs> and I didn't know how to really, like, uh, tell... You know, explain this is the one I want. So how was how I was like, hey, my friend, go buy this to for me. Thank you. <laughs> and he did. Uh, so that's that was fun.
Oh, hello to play. Well, fuck you. Oh, but do you remember how you fought these? That was one of the last purchases I made. Uh, one thing I bought, it was actually just two euros. Uh, there was a uh, Hololife boot. And I'm a kind of a VTuber simp, as you may know. Uh, and it was only two euros, how I said. I also went there to get the tiara signing, but I also got this picture. I, you know, probably also planned to put it on some wall, but it's like a different size than all of these, so I want to put it somewhere else. And I did not really thought about the place yet. Uh, that I think covers everything I bought there. Uh, we also got uh, first day, we bought drinks there first thing i got it was like uh kiwi lemonade i think and it was like i don't want to say bad but it was so sweet like i'm i mean i do drink sweet drinks i drink juice like grapefruit like, juice all the time you know that uh but I, I mean, grapefruit juice is probably the least sweet juice, to be honest, but, you know, still. Uh... Huh? Wait, what? Am I not supposed to get there? How did I get to the green path before? Oh, okay. Not like this, definitely. Okay, let's go back to the green thing. Oh, um, so yeah, it was really sweet. And... Oh, that's very expensive. Uh, second uh, day, we got like... We, every time we like bought a drink, uh, we just got uh, basically same kind but a different flavor, just so we could taste both of them. And the second drink we bought that day was kind of better, at least in my opinion. Uh, I mean, my friend also liked it more, just because it was it was basically iced tea. It was just put a picture of Naruto, so. Oh. Uh, and it, it kind of just tasted like uh, iced tea, wasn't too sweet, it was actually one of, when I think about it, it was probably one of the best iced teas I ever had. <laughs> I mean, like this, I mean, bottled one that you just buy, not like if you buy one in a restaurant, it's normally different. Okay, let me look at the map. Let's try getting to the... I don't remember how I got there. How did I get to the how, how, howling cliffs? Oh fuck you! What? Hmm. There must be like a secret way or something. I doubt I can go through the king's pass. The you know. Uh, the hole that I dropped through at the start was too deep. There must be a way. Because I got there already before. So, you know, there must be a way if I actually was there already. Uh -huh. 
um, but if I see stuck, stuck, it kind of just looks like every I explored everything. I might be missing something. Okay, I can actually probably go through that thing at the top of Crystal Peak now with double jump. Actually, with through all of these things, maybe even. Okay. Okay, let me try going back to this part though. So down, right, left. Down, right, left. Uh, also, how I said the program was all in German. I mean, that wasn't that much of a pro problem, I guess. You don't really need to go, you know, some of the programs, how I said, the concerts and like the cosplay contest, you are able to enjoy that without understanding what they are saying, right? But there was still like a lot of like podcasty things or like just speaking with some, you know, famous person or something. Oh, that, you know, I didn't understand at all. Uh, then there also was like, I think we also thought was a cosplay contest, but it was more like a talent show, but the co people were in cosplays. Uh, and they were talking a lot, uh, and I didn't understand that, but you know, we still were there for that thing. Maybe I can find something. Oh, let's go. We can. Oh, it's hollow nice to see. Um, what else? Probably not in here. Um, well, to be honest, I think that kind of covers it. What I did and stuff. Um, I'm thinking. I know that my friend was at the 18 plus area. I wasn't there because. Uh, well, I was at the Iris concert at that time and I guess I just kinda didn't find any time after that to get there. But he told me that uh, when he was there, there, were just, uh, there was a guy who was teaching how to uh, tie a bondage, so that's interesting. Uh, and yeah. Oh, look, somewhere where I wasn't yet. Um, I'm trying to, well, I, I kind of think that covers it. I might still remember some stuff I did or something. But it was a great time. Like, one of the most, like, fun things I've ever done. You know, it was just really fun. And we actually definitely do plan to go next year. Uh, there's also one like, it's much smaller. I mean, I wasn't there, but you know, just Dokomi was massive, massive. Uh, there's like, convention in Czech Republic. So I also kind of want to go there. I, it, I think last year it was, you know, uh, it just wasn't. <laughs> and before I wasn't really a fan of anime. Or maybe a year before that, yes, but that was probably also close because COVID. Um, but this year I couldn't go because it was right the week I was, I had my finals. So, yeah. But we also, you know, with this specific friend, we like talked about going there next year, maybe. Um, I mean, it's, how I said, it's much smaller, but we would understand what people are saying, so that's nice. 
Uh, am I getting back there? Yes. And I can just swim now, so this will be easy as fuck. Can I kill these with the poison? <laughs> Can kill them. That's nice. Let's go. I mean, I can truly really catch the geo, maybe. Uh, it's for the charm. Uh, oh, not charm. A uh, journal. Is it this thing in here? Oh, yeah, it is. That's funny. Let's get it then. Let's kill six more. Did I hear something? Oh yeah, that was this thing. Uh, the bush guys have kind of similar noise to the uh, grabs. So that's two more. Just remember it was, was the... Uh, though once our lands are pale being placed claim to the caverns ahead may appear benevolent, but it does not share our dreams to very to want to that place. Okay. I'm pretty sure I already read that, I just don't remember. Oh, oh. I remember now, and I went here all the fucking way again. How do you get there? How can you get there? Fuck. You know, swimming through acid won't really help me here. And. Uh, well, the other things I got also, right? Um, well, I guess I'm going back then. I mean, I can probably... Oh, I can do... Uh, this? And be right next to the fast travel, I'm so smart. Yeah, ah, uh, right. Um, let's move on. Uh, and I think there was one more of these three somewhere where I could reach. Oh, this looks like something I haven't explored. This purple thing. Let's try that. Uh, it looks like the whole area here. Uh, yeah. So let's go to the King's Station, I guess. And uh, go there, yeah. Okay. Maybe it's closed because, you know, otherwise I kind of think I might have went there already. Maybe I just didn't find the map. Um, okay, I guess I can uh, talk about one more thing and that was the how we traveled there. So we arrived on Friday pretty late. Uh, I actually <laughs> skipped my graduation event for it. Uh, because uh, that was like after afternoon 
and if I went there we would arrive really late because like this we uh, like started to, to play how do you talk um, we I can't speak Just I really uh, let me use translator. This is like the dumbest word you can ever use. Oh, well, not use forget. I'm sure I know how to say this. Uh, I just don't remember, so I don't know how to say it. Oh. Uh, Well, okay, we just started. Is that to work? Oh, but you know, in nine a.m. and oh, that's a bad posture. <laughs> oh, we went for like six, no, like four or five hours to Pozang, which is. You know, a city in Czech Republic, and then uh, the two other people, like my friend and my other friend, my two friends, the one who went on the convention and the other one, uh, we just, you know, picked them up. Uh, they went by a train there, you know, to Pozen. And then we took them the rest of the way by car. And... Well, yeah, that's what happened, kind of. Oh, uh, and then we went for, like, six or seven more hours in Germany, because Dusseldorf, Dusseldorf, you know how you pronounce that it's on exactly other side of germany than czech republic is i definitely wasn't here at least i don't remember oh uh, so it took a while Well, I definitely am making progress because I wasn't here yet. Oh, uh, but the thing is, uh, obviously we took some breaks because it's pretty uh, far. You know, we couldn't just go 12 hours without a break. Uh, but we also got stuck in a... Uh, uh, traffic jam? It wasn't really a traffic jam. There was probably an accident that happened. And, like, it wasn't even that we were moving slowly. We just couldn't move. We were just standing there in one place for, like, an hour. I just assume until, like... They cleared the way. I really think there was like an accident, but we couldn't see. Um, so I really wasn't here. Oh 
shit, I suck. Oh shit, I suck. And you know, the, after that, because we can't have really arrived like around 9 10 uh, pm, we just you know uh, got a sandwich for dinner and went to sleep. Because I was really scared that I wouldn't be able to wake up basically, because for the last two weeks since I finished school. Uh, my sleep schedule is, is, you know, wasn't the greatest, you know, ever, but it's worse now. This is probably like a bus, so. Yeah. Will this be like... Will I be fighting all of these? Shit, okay, we can do this. Yeah, this Oh no! I thought it will be one by one. Okay, that was one more. Fucking hell. No, why the fuck? Fucking hell. That's it, that's that. Okay, but uh, it's pretty close, so that's nice. Oh, uh, but yeah, the way there was pretty hard. On the way back, uh, we went just to Czech Republic and then we stayed in Prague, at least me with my mother. The other two people just, you know, again, got out. We, we just brought them to Pozeng and then they went home uh, by train. Well, me with my mom, we just went to Prague and stayed there for one night. And then went to Yichin, uh, where I have some family members, uh, to visit them. That is... Oh, uh, oh, I could have opened that. Faster, huh? I guess I just missed it. And then, you know, uh, after that we got home. And yeah, yesterday, I kind of tweeted about this, but I was really looking forward to putting on the posters and also the shell. Uh, so I was trying to find the optimal way to attach posters because uh, yeah I want them to be basically reusable you know if I like uh, want to change them or maybe move uh, so I can just keep them uh, so I bought uh, power stripes uh, and there are uh, ones that are specifically for posters and they should like be able to not damage e either the posters or the wall. Uh, but 
on Thursday I just bought a wrong ones. I bought power not power stripes, power strips. And and not the one uh, for posters but just normal ones, I don't know, that are much stronger and there are also less of them. And just not optimal for posters, I guess. So, yeah. Okay, that was them. Okay. I'm forgetting to use the double jump. Which is, you know, pretty fucking hell useful. Oh my fucking god. Well, okay, this was even worse than the first try. But now I should be able to get there faster, which is nice, because I opened one of the doors. Uh, so yeah, the point of this was that just the way back was much easier. It was overall like really just a great time. How I said I already plan to go there next year. And you know, I've talked before, I always say basically normally that this is my first convention. I know I already uh, what's the word? Fixed to this statement? It's not a word. By saying I was at Craftcon, which is like of rank mine gone in Czech Republic, but just like the artist alley in Dokomi was bigger than the whole craft con in Ostrava, so yeah, can't really compare those. Uh, also, I don't know if I talked about this, but uh, in like a month. Well, actually, more than a month, it's almost two months. I'm going to a Slipknot concert in Prague. That's like the only <laughs> uh, band I listen to that will actually probably ever have a concert in Czech Republic. Which is sad, but you know, I'm also looking forward to it a lot. I mean, it's not sad that they will have a concert, but that I kind of doubt anyone else both of people who I listen to will be. Oh, come on. Come on, why the fuck did just one decide to jump and other to just fucking roll? You know, I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, I don't really listen. Well, I guess I do. Uh, you know, I started listening to Slipknot 
the last time basically they were in Czech Republic which was like three years ago and I wasn't there but I just guess I heard they were there I don't really remember how I got to listening to them but I started exactly at the time they were in Czech Republic or like maybe a month before that And for a long time I was only listening to the new album. I don't really know why. Fuck, okay. Oh. Um, but yeah, they have, you know, some of my favorite songs that are by them. Like, Benzeda is one of my favorite songs. Uh, I also really like Unsainted. Uh, Snap. And you know, just more stuff. Uh -oh. And you know, that's like, I mean, I just was a sponsor now at Dopamine, but it's different when it's part of like a bigger event, you know? I feel like. So I would maybe consider this my first concert. And for a long time I was uh, scared I couldn't go where I could go, but I didn't want to go alone. Uh, and you know this friend I'm going with is was supposed to be on holidays. And he will be, but he will still come even though he, it's his holidays, so that's he's pretty based, you know. This is wrong room. This is not where I'm supposed to be. I think. I'd like to think I'm also very based, you know? Um, oh, you probably, if you fight there, you can probably save this grab. I can, I'll, I'll do it just want to get this and you know I need to finish the boss fight now oh shit come on okay let's heal while there is only one Hell, okay. What the fuck? Okay, well, I can probably maybe change the smell charm. Uh, I want to keep the compass. So maybe something good for one. Getting souls for taking damage is solid, I guess. Because I feel like a lot of it. Oh, it's kind of useless, I feel. Oh, yeah, that's the one I have on me right now. Oh, that's useless for fighting. Oh. There is the shell that lets you be oh focus. Oh, okay, I guess I'll just take the grab thing instead of the smell. I 
and did I want to say something? Probably, I probably will, but it's probably not that important, huh? because nothing I say is important. I'm just, to be honest, happy that I could lead this longest monologue about the community, but I'm, it was great. I just had so much fun, man. Uh, I, the, the thing is, I always like, I I like living in you know Central Europe. I think it's pretty good here. Uh, you know the economy, I guess, in Czech Republic directly isn't the greatest, but we have uh, lowest. That this is actually what I just found yesterday. We apparently have the lowest. Uh, unemployment rate in Central Europe, which is pretty cool, you know. I mean, I am un unemployed basically, <laughs> but it's different. The jumping attack is so fucking terrible. Well, you know what? Every attack is so fucking terrible. Fuck. Fucking hell. This was like the worst attempt yet. Um, I also kind of changed uh, the camera angle if you didn't notice and it's just because I wanted to show off the background because I'm really happy how I said I will still need to change the shelf we need to um, add more screws to it so it doesn't collapse You know, I actually made some effort with how to. What's the word? Put them like the order I put them in. If you, you can notice that the souls like ones in the bottom are from the least uh, yellow to the most yellow ones. Also, the one of them is apparently a nameless king, and I don't even know who that is to be honest. I probably didn't get that far. <laughs> um, but how I said, I wanted to buy four to make it cheaper. So that's what I did. So I asked my friend what, who that is on the picture, fucking, hold on. Oh, what? Did he, like, bug there? Oh no, that's wrong spell. One to use the shooting one. Oh shit, okay. Okay, I need to heal while there's only one. At least a bit. Fuck, 
again. I want to heal where there's only one. W wait, are there three of them now? Did I see correctly? No, I didn't. There's still only thing. Fucking hell! This is kind of difficult. There's not much time to heal, you know. Uh, but I feel like this was one of the best attempts. After I finish this guy, I will probably need to go get a drink. I will actually also need to end kinda earlier today. Because there is something really important I need to attend. But you know, with this stream, I'm officially back. Uh, <laughs> I'm actually not sure if I will be streaming tomorrow. Uh, because, yeah, that's how I said I plan to attach the shelf. That will probably take just like an hour, but I'm also visiting family. So I will probably visit family, then come home, attach the shelf and then it will be like so I'll see um but yeah I was looking forward to talking for myself to myself for hours again so had some fun stuff planned. And by that I mean playing Hollow Knight, basically. Oh shit, I think. Did one of the projectiles just get stuck some? I have like also like so much free time now. It's kind of amazing. Uh, no, it didn't get to the point yet <laughs> where I get bored, and I hope it won't for a while. But I know in the past when I have like multiple weeks like three i just kind of get to the point where i get bored and then feel like you know gaming or doing anything else watching some shows things anything but yeah now it was partly perfect because i was at docom it was something that, like you know i don't need normally but i feel like i have even though i have so much free time i still have so much things i want to do like I, I read manga, manga. How do you pronounce that? Uh, after a while, I read uh, three days of happiness. I still uh, have re zero that I need to read. So, uh, light novel. Uh, strong cast. Uh, I, you know, I started reading Re Zero a while back, and I got to the fourth book, but then it got to the point where you know I started my finals and did not really have time. Oh no! I have a. I actually kinda saw a good video about this recently. Uh. Fuck. You know, uh. And it was about the games at that point, but I think it's kinda works similar with books, probably. And 
you know, sometimes you just get to a point in, well, how to say, in the game or, you know, probably a book also, where you feel like you got enough and you don't need it to continue, if you get me? Uh, well, not like that. I can't really explain it. Uh, because I feel like I definitely do want to zero, for example, to continue. But where you just basically get stuck because your mind is fine with you ending there, basically. Not really. I don't think I'm explaining it correctly, but you know, it's just gist of it. I can maybe like share the link to a video to the video. It's uh, like from this guy. I you know, uh, don't watch him that a lot, but he makes like psychology videos about video games. Uh, his name on YouTube is Daryl Gold Games. And the series is called Psych of Play, and I enjoyed it. I was actually like binging his videos a lot while I, you know, do stuff normally. Fucking hell. Fuck, so close. That was the last one. I think. I should also make videos about Hollow Knight. That's how I kinda had spoiled some stuff. Uh, actually, I got spoiled one thing that I actually still did not. Uh, discover? Is that the right word? Uh, even though I feel like I explored the deepness, but apparently there is a way uh, where you can just chase yourself, basically. So yeah, spoiler. Oopsie. Oh, did I really get hit by my shade? Okay. I actually, with how this boss fight is going, I think it might be the last thing I do today. Well, no, probably not. Unless I'm really bad. Oh, that reminds me of this great anime review of Healer. What a fun shot. Oh no! Did you see that? I don't understand how that didn't hit me. Fuck off. No! I did jump! Fuck. 
Okay, is that the last one? Fuck. Okay, I healed enough that I have... No! Done? Nice. Okay, that was like the hardest boss fight yet. If I... Or, well, that wasn't really a boss fight, it's just like a fight, like sequence of fights, I guess. Which basically is also the Colosseum, which is harder in my opinion. Oh, that's a lot of shield. Uh, I kind of just remembered, I mean, the chest, I mean, probably after a few fights that I can go buy one thing. But I feel like I would like to find the adventure something first. Or fast travel, you know, because I would need to fast travel. Uh, this is long. Something here, no. Okay, I guess I'll just. Oh, hello. Sleep beckons eternal, and those words become my last. Though my gaze shall no longer fall upon the city, I will act forever in its protection. For a king, for back, for wholeness, I head now to my west. Oh, that rhymes. Guess he was writing a rap. Oh. I see. I won't die, right? Or something here? Oh yeah, this was first place. Um, oh yeah, there was also the thing where I can save the grab. Let me... Do I have like a green marker? I don't. How do I change the... Oh yeah, with this. Let's say orange is for grabs, and I think it was like somewhere here. Let's say. I actually know about where one more grab was. There was one in the deepness I think I couldn't reach. Oh wait, no. In deepness there was one I did actually save this today, right? Oh, inspect. I can inspect while standing here. I mean, that's nice, but that's it. Will something happen if I... No, okay, I guess it kind of just loops. Maybe, maybe in the future I can put something in there, or I don't know. Nice, I can heal. Is this another boss fight that is not really a boss fight? Hello? Fourteen to blood. I'm not getting any soul from you. That's three out of uh, two out of three. I mean, I can't doubt that it's the end of the game after you kill all of these three. Oh. 
the last one is the one in Frog Gang, and I, if I remember correctly. Hello. I'm awake. I'm not sleeping. Okay, now I guess I have full health. So I think I can... Uh, something happened here? No, it's the same. Uh, I'll try go save the crab now. Um, and then go to the shop. I mean, I'll see if I can actually even save the crab. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm just too bad. Uh, this probably doesn't do anything. So. Oh, it does. Cannot watch longer. Okay. And the grab. This is where the. We go to the boss. No, this is where we fight the boss. Uh, and there is the grab. So if I go here. The other side, I can fight. I can also go a bit more up. Okay, let's. Fuck. Oh, shit. And I assume the crab is down here. Now I'm scared since I, you know, found the ones that transform. Every time I'm just like, oh, this one will transform. Oh, okay, this is nothing apparently. Uh, by transform, I mean, you know, do those evil crabs. Oh, I can apparently go even more. Oh wait, no, that's just a different location. Wait, no? I wasn't? Is that like a different location? I can go back up again. It was this way, right? Maybe there isn't map on that location. I don't remember. Oh, I can... You know, use this to travel a bit faster. Uh, but uh, I don't remember anything. Really. Okay, I was here, right? Maybe just oh. It's not here because I didn't sit on a bench, I'm stupid. I was like, oh, there's something I probably wasn't then. Maybe I didn't buy a map. But no, I'm just dumb. Oh, I can just fall, actually. Okay, oh... Uh, I want to go to the King's Station, I guess. Or maybe the thing on the left is closer. Oh, actually, you know what? You know what I can do? Go here. Wait, what? Wrong button. Okay, I guess I need to walk. Down. I can go... Oh, that reminds me... There was that place where uh, Zote was. Uh, in the deep nest. Uh, I don't know if he's still there. Maybe he died. Wouldn't be surprising. goes more up. Huh? 
Oh, okay. There is a bench here, but also... Oh no, Passover is more... Uh, further away. More further. That's how you speak, you know? It's not just further, but it's more further. I don't even know if I pronounced further correctly, it sounds w weird. There are just some things I find hard to pronounce. I mean, that's normal, but I feel... Like, you know, it's hard. For example, girl, that's so hard to pronounce, or world, just R and J, uh, like, I don't know, just things with R like that, I guess. Fucking hell, this is difficult. Are just hard. I mean, hard isn't hard to pronounce, I guess, but some stuff with R. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, okay, here is the fast travel. Let's rest and also let me put this thing here. I feel like it's good to have it close to a fast travel point just because then you can fast travel anywhere fast from anywhere. And I wanted. Where did I want to go? Uh, there is the shop, the charm shop. I can buy something there, so to the forgotten crossroad. And yeah, what I also did, uh, my friend uh, got me Risk of Rain 2, and that game is pretty fun. It kind of feels like a game I've also been playing a lot. Uh, even though in you know different way, uh, Vampire Survivals, you just have a gameplay loop, and you get progressively stronger throughout like one game. And you know, in Vampire Survivals, you also have some passive upgrades that just help you, uh, like in every game. But you basically just get levels and weapons and get stronger. And it feels kind of similar, you just get uh, items that, you know, do different kinds of stuff. And it's like third person shooter, it's pretty fun. He got it to me so, you know, we played in co-op, but I also played it solo quite a bit. I mean, I'm very shit at it. But it's fun. <laughs> Normally, I just am too greedy. I'm, oh shit. We're trying to deal damage. It happens to me quite often. Uh, and end up just like standing inside enemies. Oh. I need. 11 more charms. For some reason I thought I already have enough, but 11 is quite a bit. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's all of them. I need to have all the charms to buy that. <laughs> so that will probably take a while. Okay. So other thing I wanted to do... Wait. Oh, I can use it on this. Dear, dear, I really must hold it together, must appear calm, but this creature is just divine. Oh, thank you. No! I almost did it again. I mean, now I'm not that far, so it wouldn't matter that much. Uh, 
and let's go to dirt mount. I can look at the shops here if they don't didn't restock or something. That would be pretty cool, but I can't doubt it. You reach dirt mouth, most travelers take circuit zones, roads around the cliffs beside us. It's hard trek, but uh, it's the kingdom stranding squares. But it is the kingdom strand, things were far simpler in fuck I can't talk, I can't read. There is an old pass in the cliff that once allowed easy access. The bridge up to it has long since crumbled away, and even without it a huge door bars entry. I can't complain, mind you. It's meant uh, we have only ever had to accommodate a trickle of travelers, even during our busy busiest times. Uh, I wouldn't want hordes of bugs to descend on dirt mouth. I like the, I like the quiet. Okay. Oh. Oh. I know I gave him the key actually, but I forgot it wasn't here since. So another would join our group. I have a gift for you, warrior. As a shopkeeper, I admit parting with it for free is rather difficult. But as the great knight nail sage, I must reckon. Oh, this is the great nail sage. Must reckon, reckon, recognize. Fuck! I can't re recognize your skill. You have mastered the arts of my re re remaining pupils. Now, tradition de decrees. For two may hold the symbol for you. The sees you two may hold the symbol. I'm so bad at reading. I couldn't do this for a while. Where's probably name master? You shall be the last to receive its light. Your master's glory. Uh mail is this one? Increases verse, verse mastery of nail arts, so we can to focus their power faster. Okay, that's actually pretty good. I mean, I don't use them, but... I probably should be using them more often. I probably can't buy anything from you. Of you go near master, I have nothing more to give you, nothing for free at least. I'll be up uh, briefly and eager to take your geo upgrade for Master's wares. Okay, so you have some wares. Okay, let me rest, maybe then he will be there. Back again, you know I haven't... Oh, any stuff. You think you have a very hoping to sneak a peek at uh, my mountain of show? Well, it's mine now and fairly freighted. Yeah, yeah, I have uh, also quite a bit of geo. And I would love to spend it, to be honest. <sighs> Bye for now, Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, still nothing else now. I mean, I can go to the Crystal Peak. There's some places I wasn't yet. I also want to go. Look to the left, though. Uh, I think there is, uh, but I kind of doubt there is something I can reach now. Something new. I mean, I can get extra health. That's one of the extra health. Mm. 
but I don't think I can go through the hall even with the things I have now. Oh, wait, maybe I can. Okay, is this how you get up there? I mean, I thought I'm, I wasn't here. Because I doubt I would let the geo stone in there. So nice. Okay, I got back to Howling Cliff. Let's go. But I think I'll just get to the bench here and I will end it for today. Hello? Oh, what is. Where does this lead? Okay, w one more quick thing. Oh, yeah, this is where the. One of the nail masters. The, the nail art, the sl dash slash. I learned one. I uh, learned from my brother Oro, was it not? So he's still alive then, hmm. I still haven't forgotten what he owes me and I never will. Oh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't bother you with such things. I'm happy that you were able to train under another nail master and grow stronger, my people. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, that will be it for today. Uh... And yeah, th thank you, thank you for watching, and see you soon, hopefully. I know it was a shorter one, but how I said, uh, now I'm officially back, because I have something really important I need to attend now. Uh, so yes, thank you, and bye!